What's up guys, Chris here. Signs of life, back once again with another quick tip. I'm sitting here working on this track and I figured, wow, this would be a perfect opportunity to go over a topic that I've had kicking around for a while, how to generate simple melodies using the new piano roll in Ableton 11. And this track that I'm working on, this is sort of like a amalgamation of the track. I'm not gonna like reveal the track, but I took some of the stems, I changed the key, so we would be all kosher for YouTube. And yeah, we're gonna listen to it and we're gonna use the piano roll to generate some of these melodies. Um, this track is due actually in less than a week. It's the way this channel is going and the way it's growing, I've been kind of busy. And uh, I've had this sort of like cooking for months and I'm like, okay, I gotta finish this. But again, this is a perfect opportunity to go over the tutorial here uh, of how to generate these melodies. Cause this is how I was doing it uh, just moments ago in the actual track itself. So here's the, here's the, here's the sample track. And as you can hear, it's kind of got this like Sibian sort of chill out beat to it. Again, this isn't the actual uh, song, but you know, I changed the bass. I added a new little twist to it. Let's go over the kick drum real quick because the kick is going to play into our melody thing. I love this beat. Boom, 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 boom. It's kind of like an offset uh, four on the floor. And then it goes into some like real deep. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's, I, I just love this stuff, right? Uh, I'm highly influenced by some of the other artists on my label, needless to say. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the... Um, we're gonna take the synth, and now what I've done is I've taken one of my patches from the Ambient Transmission series, uh, Ambient Transmission 2. This is Rubicon. It's a pluck, a super simple pluck, right? Uh, as you can see, this is nearly default uh, sawtooth wavetable with a little squeeze on it and a sign. And I think the most important thing in this thing is how to set the envelope. Now, I just took envelope two, which is the first free envelope. The other one is tied to the amp. And then the second one, I just, hit a quick decay on it, you know, turn the sustain off, and then I tied it to the filter. And the position of this obviously is important because you get more or less of the sound coming through after the envelope does its thing, right? So we're just gonna kind of arbitrarily set that and then we can use this pluck to, um, yeah, build a melody. Now that's kind of my favorite sound, right? One of my favorite sounds. So with this piano roll, a piano roll is just piano roll. I mean, they're pretty much the same in any DAW. And with Ableton, you can now, uh, there's a little scale button over here. Click scale and you get all the scales. Now you could use it just like this, but there's also a further implementation here where you can actually press scale and now all the notes are in scale, which is so cool. Uh, I did a little research. I guess FL Studio now has this in 12. Um, Logic may do this, I'm not sure. I've used Ableton for the past seven years, so I'm kind of like unaware of what other DAWs have done as far as uh, progression of their uh, uh, feature set goes. Anyway, so scale, scale, make sure you set your scale right. I've divided it into 16th notes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start painting these notes in. Now I want you to listen to the beat very closely because the notes that you put in can be sort of playing off the beat and you're sort of gonna logically or intuitively rather uh, place some of these notes down in. Now we're playing in the key of G sharp minor. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. And here we go. So you can start painting some of these notes and maybe see the first two notes that you paint may not necessarily uh, be what you want. Listen to the timing very closely. Now, see those are too close. And that's a little, that's a little too late. So you go back and fix it. They're just like that. Boom, 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 boom. You might want to skip some of the notes here. And then some of those notes a little too spaced out. And you can come up with some really cool, interesting melody lines here. And 
And then maybe your first one doesn't have to be your, you know, the ultimate one, right? You can chop these up any which way you feel. I mean, that's what I've done a lot of my records is I've just created melody lines and then found different sections of them and chopped them up and then made them all into the track. And I think it's important to like give the notes a little bit of a space to breathe. You go up a little higher. I love that little interval. <laughs> Sounded good, right? Are they right there? Are they? And then we'll go, we'll, we'll just go four bars. How about that? And then we'll repeat it. So we can go here. And then we'll repeat that. So we'll go like this, and then you take this, and then we will take that and duplicate that over, and there you go. Uh, instant signs of life. undo that and we'll fix that we'll fix the end here so let's go from right here and then we'll fix this one move this over we'll move this nah I don't like that last note delete that one and then And then the next step will be the first note again. That's good. All right, there we go. Now, the other thing you do is on Rubicon, open back a vital, and then you can start playing with the position of the filter. And maybe that's on an LFO itself. That's sync rather than, uh, so I'll put that on sign, sync it up. Put on 8 to 1. So it's going to go from the low end, start to get higher. Open up. There you go. Add a little reverb to it. And there you go. All right, so with just a couple simple note inputs, rolling here. This is Ableton 11, folks. I can undo this and look, it's all in key because the scale is highlighted. Instant signs of life. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tip. It's always fun to make music for you guys and teach you a little about what I'm doing. Turn that pad down. Jeez. All right. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. This channel has become my favorite thing in the universe. I'm so excited with you guys subscribing. Make sure you give this a uh, like, smash that like button. And uh, if you guys have any other tips on how to generate some melodies in Ableton or any other DAW of your choice, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be back again soon with some more tutorials. And uh, go out there, make some good music. All right, guys, as always, keep your heads in the clouds and your feet planted firmly on the ground. My name is Signs of Life.